Hi folks, hope you're doing well today. Was the Shaw Hand Shaw the one who rescued Zoroastrianism, Hinduism, and Sikhism from extinction at the hands of Islamic overlords and invaders? Was the Shah Hand Shah the one who set up the civil societies that allowed for the development of the Zoroastrian restoration? Tangrist restoration and other forms of pre Islamic restoration in the Caucasus, in Central Asia, in the Raj, in Europe, and in the Mandates? Was the Shahan Shah the one who defended Iran Shah's frontiers and integrity during World War I when the Ottomans wanted to integrate Persia and Kurdistan into Turan? Was the Shahan Shah the one who first built and patronized the schools that introduced concepts such as freedom of religion, freedom of career, the self-determination of the individual, and women's rights? Are the seminaries of Gom and Najaf, where the national heritage is most venerated and exalted and put up in the highest echelons of world history? Or is it the universities of Oxford, Cambridge, Yale, and Stanford? Do you communists even hear yourselves when you talk? Food for thought. And this is where I end my dissertation. Thank you for watching.